with health insurance, health care, however you choose the title. That is indeed what we're talking about here in the objective of the Affordable Care Act. Uh, I understand that there's a lot of concern about the cost of Medicaid expansion. Uh, we look back a lot to the 2001 expansion and, and find that it was far too costly. That's why we can't do it. That is uh, the, the advice of some of the detractors. But at our current reimbursement rate, based on what the feds pay, we pay a little over 38 cents on every Medicaid dollar. By expanding, at the worst in 2020, we pay 10 cents on everybody who expands under expansion under the Affordable Care Act. So to not expand right off the bat means we pay an additional 28 cents on the dollar. Now granted, every year the exchange rate for which the feds will pay for Medicaid expansion dollars, it varies based on the strength of our economy. So we could wind up paying more every year if our economy gets better, which indeed we want to see our economy get stronger with more jobs, with better health insurance plans, everything will work out better. But our Medicaid rates will get more expensive for our state as our economy improves. So this fiscally sound and responsible thing to do would be to expand health care under the Affordable Care Act and by the bill provided here today. I believe it's important to accept the dollars under the federal exchanges uh, plan through the Affordable Care Act because it makes sense for our bottom line. As the New York Times put out in a report, thanks to the Federal Health and Human Services Department, currently determined eligible for Medicaid, we have 5,494 people in this state. Now that's through Federal Exchange website information that has been gathered. Every person on that list who joins the Medicaid rolls currently in the state of Maine, we're paying 38 cents on the dollar for. Had we expanded, this year we'd pay zero, and the next two, we'd also pay zero. And a gradual decline down to 2020 would be 10 cents on each of these people. Hard to believe we're gonna play a fiscally conservative card saying we wanna pay 38 cents on every dollar when we have the option by 2020 to pay just 10 cents on every dollar. That's millions of dollars every year. We're going to pay more if we say no to expansion. We save 28 cents on the dollar currently right now this year. As our economy grows stronger, we pay more. We want our economy to grow stronger. We want to have better control over our budget and Medicaid expenditures. Expansion is the way to do that. It's the right thing to do. And I hope we can all join in supporting the motion. Thank you.